Welcome to this video. Avoiding Collapses and Extinction Avoiding collapses and extinction is not the same as solving the CO2 problem or solving excess in the atmosphere. Solving the CO2 in the atmosphere is only one aspect of the aspects of the title. Solving the CO2 problem or excess in the atmosphere is perhaps the easiest part of what we have to do to avoid climate collapse, other collapses and extinction. The best solution for solving all the above problems is also the best and possibly easiest to solve the CO2 problem or excess in the atmosphere. Price Competitions A certain recent price competition that focuses only on removing excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, CDR, requires or rather aims at the removal of 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It is not mentioned in how much time so I suppose the price aims at removing this once possibly thinking of repeating the same on other occasions. Whenever I mention removal, the numbers I mention are per year. Whenever I mention Amazon basin etc., this means all tropical basins and forests. As an international forestry consultant I have worked on and proved a forest management system that, in addition to its main objective also removes 35 billion tons of carbon dioxide per year, if applied in the Amazon basin or in an equivalent area far more extensive than the EU and far more than half of the US, outside of the Amazon basin. This forest management was with minimal impact and with one manual application and no tools at all every 16 years. With increased frequency, the use of ultralight robots and having access to sifted, composted or fermented urban waste, I estimate that the same area could sequester at least 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide per year. In addition to the forest management system sequestering this amount each year, it also achieves its main objective, which is to regenerate the Amazon forest etc., and avoid the imminent collapse of the Amazon forest etc., among other benefits, also for global climate. Enriched Agroforest The former chapters had nothing to do with enriched agroforest practices in the dedicated area. In this chapter one will include the practice of enriched agroforest. I have learned more quite recently about a variant or rather a combination of the above forest management plan or rather the way Amerindians built and managed the Amazon forest until roughly 1,000 years ago. This combination of forest management with the enriched agroforest, in addition to sequestering multiple times more, also, one, could feed the world ten times over if applied in the area we were talking about and or, Two, could provide the essential, organic, materials the entire world needs, including carbon solar panels once they would be produced. The food and materials that would be produced in this enriched agroforest almost inevitably are organic, zero carbon and zero fossil. I say inevitable because in case of use of pesticides etc., the rich soil would be affected and the soil would produce much less and would start to release part of the sequestered carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. This would prejudice most of all the income of the manager or management, so I feel secure the managers will never apply because it is not needed and it is expensive too. They would also lose their certification. Use of urban waste. To some extent I have studied this type of enriched agroforest in yet another, this time European, country, and published on the applied forest management plan, that is roughly a variant of what this combined action plan would be, but without the typical substantial production of food. On this occasion, I only studied and I was not the one that developed it or applied it. Independent of not being exactly the enriched agroforest I propose, this system that was applied transformed a problematic desert into a forest, as well as a reserve and more. That solved area today also attracts many high-tech international companies, a kind of small Silicon Valley. In the second optional part of the combined management systems, urban waste is transformed and sequestered in enriched agroforestry. This enriched agroforest is not the agroforest, food forest or syntopic agriculture you will more often hear about in the media. In case the urban waste would not have been used, this particular management plan would have failed. In the forest management plan nothing is added to the system. The formation of deep soils and agroforest comes from the metabolic and microbial activity in soil and forest. Nothing external was or needed to be added. Overview of the problem and solution. An unimaginable 37 billion tons of carbon dioxide has been released every year, roughly because there is a certain variation between the years, into the atmosphere in recent years. This is roughly equivalent to the sequestering by the forest management system that I developed and practiced for 16 years, until delivering the result required by the project, if this management system had been applied in the Amazon basin or in an area equivalent to the area of the Amazon basin. 
The forest management system was applied in a by the government and research center area of 1,000 hectares. Each tree was measured every three months. One of the things that impressed me is that trees in tropical forests shrink in diameter when a drought is significant, it is obvious that their metabolism and carbon dioxide sequestering decreased as well. The other thing that impressed me was how unstable the forest was or had become. In our three-month cycle of measurement of all individual trees on two frequent occasions we found trees and in fact whole patterns, patches, that had gone into collapse. I have been studying all these years why that could be, and what was found will be presented in other videos as it is important especially for carbon dioxide sequestering capacity. So these are already two reasons that while the Amazon forest etc. goes into collapse, their carbon dioxide sequestering decreases as well apart from the release of carbon dioxide of the dying or dead trees. This is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.